Greetings all, Vanna here for Sagittarius's weekend message. Sagittarius, the first card that came out for you is the King of Diamonds. Someone may be stepping up into their golden era here and have some time to celebrate yourself and all the work that you have done to get to this point of stability. Alternatively, this could be someone coming in offering a sort of a golden opportunity in those instances, I would say make sure you're reading the fine print and everything that you are signing and agreeing to is accurate and legal. Um, because sometimes people come in with exactly what you need and it feels a little too perfect because it probably is. Using discernment is very important in whatever next phase of your life you are going through, whether that is a very successful new business and you're traversing that new market, or you're stepping up into a place of power and attention in others' eyes, and you have to deal with the scrutiny that comes with that. There's always going to be a downside to everything that you build up. That's interesting. That is a quite the combination to come out. Spirit, are all of these meant to be in reverse? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So you have justice in reverse and an imbalance or disharmonious situation. People not being truthful, the hermit isolation and self-discovery in reverse and the hangman in reverse, new attention, new ideas and perspectives. Oh, wow. I'm feeling like a pressure right here in my forehead and it's cupping what, what I know and feel as my third eye chakra. So I feel like there's a, there's a mask and an illusion down right now. Someone is not being truthful with themselves or the people around them and it is creating a lot of disharmony in a situation. This could be the root cause of your need for the success that you got in the King of Diamonds, or this could be who is causing all of this. If the King of Diamonds is not you, it is someone who is very powerful in the situation, and they have caused a lot of disruption. The High Priestess is coming out here with the Ace of Diamonds. Reminding you of your strength and it's never too late to start over. It's never too late to To rewrite your story and make it something that you truly want you hold Your own crystal ball in this instance and you do not have to bow to something that someone says Or even who pe who you feel people expect you to be so I feel like there, there are two messages here. One where this King of Diamonds is my listener, my, my Sagittarius is out there, who has stepped up into quite the position of scrutiny and power and everything that you do has quite the effect on other people. So there is a need to be careful in that. Alternatively, the Sagittariuses are this high priestess, the one that is taking control of their life during the chaos that this King of Diamonds and a fencer in their life is putting forward against them. Yeah, someone is really shoring up their mental capacities. Ooh, and then the Four of Cups wanted to be seen. Spirit is truly helping you right now, Sagittarius. I hope you are ready to accept that help. I hope you are ready and willing to act on the opportunity that that's before you and commit without equivocation. Spirit's going to bring about something that is going to be like a, a beacon in the abyss and follow it because you're supposed to go to something at the end of that road. And you don't really know who you're going to become at this point because you don't know what you're going to be facing. And that's the best energy to go into this with right now, my love, because... If you truly don't know who you're going to become, that means you have no preconceived notions or ideals on who you have to be. And you can just become who you're truly supposed to be without 
a label or an idea or a framework of what you were meant to be. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. So walking in the woods, grounding especially, taking off your shoes and socks and walking bare feet on the earth is a wonderful way to start, one, that connection with spirit and mother, but two, a meditative exercise. Because when you are walking, there is an energy transfer of the earth where it touches your body and how your body touches the earth. So anything that is stressing you during those times, you can release through your connection where you're walking. And in that release, there is, of course, the void of energy that that frustration, anxiety, and fear once held. If it is not filled with something of a higher vibration, it will very quickly be filled with that same thing again. So as you are releasing, as you are giving to mother, giving to spirit, surrendering the fear, the anxiety, the preconceived notions, the, the constraints, the, the limitations, as you are releasing that, pull in from mother, from the earth itself, love, support, acceptance, validation, guidance, because it's always there ready and willing to be with you. That is why walking in the woods helps so much and why you feel so much better. And it isn't even just the conscious energy transfer that you do when grounding passively trees in the, the forest around us needs the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide that we breathe and we need the oxygen they produce. We go in there with negatively charged ions, and that's just how our body functions, negatively charged ions. They have positively charged ions, and there is that exchange. There is always an exchange of energy in all situations. When you start to recognize that in your own life, you see how truly connected everything is, and how you are truly powerful when you wield that connection, when you see it. The experiences that you are presently going through are to initiate your into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. That I can agree with, Sagittarius. You are meant to be a healer, someone who speaks up on behalf of those who have been in your situation and are in your situation. There is a kid out there still in that place. Uh, tattoos. I don't know the name of the band off the top of my head, but that is a very good song. One of my favorites, actually. I definitely feel like Sagittarius here would would like that song, Tattoos. And I wear my scars just like tattoos Cause I'm so damn proud of what they put me through You have the unicorn. Indulge your creative imagination and magical side through a form of artistic expression. I definitely feel the pull to the magical side and that some Sagittarius's out there have a natural inclination or gift towards energy work, Reiki, or energy movement of any kind. It is very confusing when you start forming that connection because everything starts to feel weird and it can become overwhelming. Talk to your spirit team during that time. And they may even help guide you to someone who can help talk you through the experience. Someone who has done something like this before. I know when I first started to become more energetically sensitive, I felt so very overwhelmed going out to the store because I was going out without any armor, without any protections. And now I was a lot more sensitive to all of the energy to the people going on around me. That's one of the main reasons why I've built my business the way I have with these bracelets is to help people have that armor in their lives because we go through an onslaught in this world. And Sagittarius is just now coming to realize how powerful they really are. And I'm so very proud of you, my love. Have a beautiful day.